welcome to Simply Sarah. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my updated foundation routine. This is not a full coverage makeup routine. This is something I do kind of every day to cover up my acne scarring and my current acne breakouts. It is, like I said, not full coverage so you can still see a few of the breakouts. If you've got huge ginormous monsters like the one under my eye and a few others that you can see. This is something that's light that will cover up most of the redness, uh, most of the scarring, something that you can wear every day without looking too cake face. So if you would like to see how I do it then keep watching. So here I am completely bare face. You can see my face is really red um, and splotchy. So go ahead and put your hair back however you need to. I am going to use my Superstay 24 hour concealer in medium beige. I'm going to do my contour under my foundation just uh, so that it's not too harsh for every day. Now if I were to go out then I would definitely put it over top of my foundation but here I'm just going to blend it into my foundation. So I'm just going to do the typical contour points, um, cheekbones, underneath your cheekbones, on my nose. I hate my nose, so I like to slim that down a little bit, and then just in the hairline there. And then just, I like to blend it out a little bit with my finger in tapping motions before I proceed with my foundation. Now this is the Garnier BB Cream. It is not to be confused with the regular formula. This is a light medium tone for oily skin. So it's matte. It's their matte formula. And this is my absolute favorite beauty blender. I love it because it really does blend the foundation into my skin. So I go ahead and put it on the beauty blender right away and then I use dabbing motions. Very important to use dabbing motions and not swiping motions yet. So I like to dab this on and blend it into the contour that I've already done just to make it look a little bit more natural. And of course blend it right into your neck and make sure the creases of your nose and then all around. And once you are all blended, I like to take the hard candy glamouflage concealer and put that under my eye and it's quite light so I like to kind of use it as a matte highlighter if you will uh, just because with acne prone skin you don't want anything too too shiny on your face so I like to keep it quite matte underneath my eyes I like to do kind of a check mark symbol thinking about the Nike check I guess <laughs> under my eyes and in this light it actually looks a lot lighter than it is in person actually I'm just noticing this now but go ahead and blend that with your finger and then a beauty blender as well to blur out the line so it blends nicely into the foundation and then obviously repeat it on the other side so you're not lopsided all day as I said this was light enough to kind of be a matte highlighter so I just put this on the middle of my nose as well as in between my eyebrows as highlighter. <laughs> so I like to blend that just out with a beauty blender as well. And then for a little bit of shimmer I like to use my Sonia, I don't know how to say her last name, highlighter I got from Target and I do just put a little bit underneath my eye and then above my brow so it adds a little bit of shine without being too much. Like I said with acne prone skin you don't really want to accentuate your skin so I'm just using this around my eyes to really accentuate my eyes. So go ahead and blend this out with the Beauty Blender and that's pretty much the only sponge that I really use for any of my foundation purposes. So just make sure that it's nice and blended. Now if you got huge monsters like this one on my face, just take your concealer again after and just dab it out with your pinky or your ring finger. And then what I like to do is I like to blend around, not necessarily on the pimple, um, but just around it to blend it out, to blur it. Then this is my Marcel Face Powder and Translucent, and I like to, I know it's hard to see because I fast forwarded, but I'm dabbing, so I'm stippling this powder on, and then I'm finishing off with um, round circles just to kind of buff it in. Now once you're done, it's ready to take your hair out, and obviously mine is just doing something funky, so I'm just going to fix it up here. 
So that is it for my current foundation routine. I really hope that you enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more of my face. I post or try to post every Sunday, so stay tuned for more videos on that. And if you suffer from acne or if you have a different way of doing your foundation, I would love to hear all about it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even in the comments section below. So don't forget to talk to me that way. And uh, any other information that you guys need to know is in the description bar below. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.